Hey guys, I'm Nietzsche, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the mac and cheese maker. I'm gonna be seeing if it works, if the mac and cheese tastes good, and if it's worth buying. I am super obsessed with mac and cheese. It is my absolute favorite food, so the steaks are really high for this one. It's extremely light, which always gives me a little bit of hesitation. It says on the box here that it's a quicker way to prepare mac and cheese. It probably takes like 15 minutes maybe to make like a box mac and cheese on the stove. So we'll see if this is quicker than 15 minutes. This is supposed to be an all-in-one mac and cheese maker. I'm pretty sure like when I make like box mac and cheese, the pot that I use is all-in-one, but completely electric, which is great. You don't need a stove, perfect mac and cheese Nation was apparently established in 1995. I don't know what or where that is, but I'm pretty sure I fit the qualifications to be a member of Mac and Cheese Nation, so holler at me. Also, right here on the bottom, everything is better with cheese, and that is not a lot. So far, this product is speaking truths to me, it's talking to my soul, and I'm feeling really good about it. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm really bad at opening things up, just like my heart. Great, we've got instructions, which is always important. This thing is so extremely light. Like it just does not feel durable at all. But I guess you don't need a lot of weight to make mac and cheese. This is our stirring knob. This is kind of like a fun thing to play with, like a fidget spinner or something. We've got three settings here for you to put it on. Low, simmer, and boil. This right here is our ingredient slot and cap. We've got our built-in strainer, which is great. This is what they call a handle. Very glad that they pointed that out to me. We've got a heating element here. Uh, this is how we heat it. We've got almost two full pages of warnings. You definitely wanna be cautious and you definitely wanna be careful but a little alarming that you have to be this careful. So there are a couple of recipes in the back of this for homemade mac and cheese, bacon mac and cheese, and store-bought mac and cheese. We're gonna go with the store-bought mac and cheese because if you're buying this product, you're probably looking for something simple and quick, and that is the simplest and quickest option. So I'm gonna go wash this thing, get my ingredients, and then we'll get to making mac and cheese. Okay, so I clean this thing. You can't put it in a dishwasher or submerge it into water, so you just have to wipe it down with a, you know, soap and water. It looks like there's a non-stick coating on the bottom seems like it's simple enough to clean but we'll see how easy it is once we actually make our mac and cheese but we've got like our little mini spatula here which i think is actually super cute so i guess that's where they're coming in with our one pot goodness you don't even need a spoon or spatula to stir it because our little stirring our little stirring handle <laughs> already has that covered. So I put just under three cups of water in here. It says do not overfill it or the water will boil over, but there is a max fill line in here so you can tell easily you know, how much water is too much. We're gonna put our ingredient cap back on now that we have our water in. We're already on low, so we're just gonna turn our notch up to boil here. It says that it should take about six to seven minutes for it to start boiling. So we're just gonna wait and see what happens. It's been 30 minutes and not only is our water not boiling but it's literally cold are you sure yeah like it's oh my god we changed the plug i even tried to like it's turn it to simmer warm. i don't know what you guys want to do because this is literally not working like dad do you want to feel it and this is supposed to be the freaking quick one. So either way, this thing's getting an F, even if it were to start working right now. I want mac and cheese though. Like, I'm not leaving until I get mac and cheese. Do you just want to make mac and cheese then? I, I'm down. Like, right, let's do it. Let's, let's make mac and cheese. Mac and Cheese Nation has supremely let me down because that gadget did not work, but I still want my mac and cheese. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a one pot mac and cheese recipe that actually will work. We're gonna start with five cups of milk here. We're gonna bring it up to a simmer. Okay, so my milk has reached a simmer. I'm gonna add my pasta now. Now that we've simmered down, I'm not in a rage as much. And I'm just gonna let this cook until it's tender. I know this isn't the video that you thought you wanted, but this is the video that you need. So my pasta is all cooked. I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna add my cheese, my butter, salt, and pepper. And I'm just gonna mix it until it's nice and luxurious. The one thing our failed gadget did get right is that cheese makes everything better. And I'm feeling a lot better now that I'm finally putting cheese to macaroni. This is not the greatest sound ever. My mac and cheese is looking great now. Let's uh, put this in the bowl and taste it. 
I love mac and cheese. We're gonna add some parsley just for garnish, just so we can get a little fancy. It's beautiful. Look at those colors, guys. I love it. We have now made it fancy. And now all that's left is to give this thing a taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's what I'm looking for right there. Nice, cheesy, creamy, delicious, flavorful mac and cheese. That's what I need in my life. That's what you need in your life. That's what you need in your life. That's what you, oh, you're right here. That's what you need in your life. I feel like my energy level is just skyrocketed because this is so absolutely delicious. Mac and cheese maker, unfortunately, you get two thumbs down from me because you didn't even work, but this mac and cheese gets two thumbs up. So if you guys have any gadgets that you want us to try, let us know in the comments below. If they don't work, we will make it work. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Oh, yes.